Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, April 12th. I'm James Spann. A very active weekend ahead with a chance of severe storms across the state. We'll focus on that. Here's the upper look this morning. A vertically stacked low is up across the high plain states. That's produced a blizzard up north that's lifting north. And a part of that will be hanging back and rolling through here this weekend. Uh, there's the radar this morning at 454. And we have showers along a cold front over northwest Alabama. Nothing severe, nothing heavy, nothing too widespread. And you can pick out that front there on the temperature map this morning. Little Rock at 49, Nashville at 72. So a huge thermal contrast. It will cool down a bit today, but not much. High should be well up in the 70s, but not the 80s today. And again, back in the colder air, we have sub-freezing lows this morning where areas have snow cover over parts of the Rockies and the High Plains, but a nice tongue of warm air coming up over the eastern states. There's the watch warning map to start today. We've still got uh, winter storm issues up north. The snow continues over parts of uh, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Upper Michigan. Severe weather possibilities for today and tonight. Got a marginal risk over parts of the eastern U.S. and a chance of severe storms over Texas later today and tonight with our new system. Now, tomorrow... For day two, we have a moderate risk of severe storms over north Louisiana, south Arkansas, the Mississippi Delta. That includes that stretch of Interstate 20 from Shreveport over to Vicksburg and up toward uh, Greenville. This is the probabilistic outlook, and this is basically suggesting a 45% chance of severe weather within 25 miles of a given point in that moderate risk area. And we have a hatched area, meaning there's a chance of significant severe weather in there. So needless to say, our friends to the west during the day tomorrow will have to watch the situation very carefully. Now understand this outlook runs through 7 a.m. Sunday. So through 7 a.m. Sunday in Alabama, we have the standard slight risk as far east as Tuscaloosa, a marginal risk as far east as Birmingham. Now, this is after 7 a.m. Sunday. Most of the state in the standard risk, we have an enhanced risk, level three out of five, for east Alabama. And uh, understand, I wouldn't be shocked if that enhanced risk is expanded a little bit as we get closer to this, but the, forget all these colors and lines and times. The, the important message here, all of Alabama has a chance of severe storms over the weekend. Here's the larger look for day three. That enhanced risk runs up into parts of uh, eastern Tennessee, uh, the western part of the Carolinas, up into really southern Ohio. And we'll talk about the specifics in a moment. Here's the uh, QPF, the precipitation for the next seven days. The bullseye is over the uh, Mid-South region. Maybe rain amounts in excess of four inches around Memphis. For our part of the uh, state, rain amounts mostly between two and three inches, one to two inches for South Alabama. So let's go through modeling. Here's the GFS, the 06C run, one o'clock today. You can see the upper low that's coming up through Minnesota, a part of it hanging back over the far southwest United States. Surface low is on the Minnesota-Wisconsin border, and the trailing front comes in here today with a few scattered light rain showers. Nothing heavy, nothing widespread. It could rain at times, though, with a high in the 70s. Now, tomorrow, our new storm begins to gather strength over Texas. Surface low around Waco. And this is the deal for us tomorrow. This is 7 o'clock off the high-res NAM, and there could be some rain around. Even then, not especially widespread. And then by 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, the warm front lifts north of the state, and really there's just not much going on. Could there be a little afternoon shower? Yes, but probably not many. So the weather looking pretty good for the spring football games in Auburn and Tuscaloosa tomorrow afternoon, and highs will likely be around 80. Now, this is Sunday. Sub-1,000 millibar low is passing north office with a trailing front. Let's go back to the high-res NAM. This is 4 a.m. Sunday. At that point, a, a broken line of severe storms pushing into the state. And again, potential for damaging winds, hail, maybe a tornado or two within that thing. Sunday at 7 a.m., line of storms coming through Huntsville, Birmingham, uh, down toward Gulf Shores. Again, these things could pack a punch with a chance of damaging winds and hail. And then by 1 o'clock, the, the first batch of storms is out of here, and a new area of storms begins to form along the surface front 
over northwest Alabama. Now, the air is going to be worked over. Those could be strong, maybe producing some small hail and gusty winds, but I'd say the odds of severe weather with that secondary line Sunday afternoon would be fairly low. The big concern is going to be Sunday morning. Now, this is the limiting factor. This is the instability Sunday morning at 7 o'clock, and there's just not much. And hopefully the fact that this is coming through early, early in the morning with limited instability, that will help to mitigate the big threat here. But understand, while the thermodynamics maybe aren't that impressive, the dynamics are very impressive, very strong wind fields uh, at the surface and aloft. And this is the updraft helicity product through one o'clock Sunday afternoon. And again, this is where there could be up, uh, rotating updrafts. You can see uh, potential for that on into the uh, western and central part of the state. And of course, th this ends at 60 hours and that would extend on into East Alabama as well. So understand, you're going to see a lot of colors and risk areas and maps like this, but understand all of Alabama has a risk of severe storms over the weekend, especially after midnight Saturday night into uh, midday Sunday. And again, I think now we'll probably say we'll kind of flip back to midnight to noon is the main 12-hour window for severe storms. Everybody needs to have a way of getting warnings, and everybody needs to have a plan. And if you watch this, we don't worry about you, but you could help us by telling those that don't know about the threat. Okay, Monday, it's all out of here. Uh, sunny and cooler with a high around 70. Tuesday, a sunny day with upper 70s. Now, Wednesday, here comes a new storm. Rain breaks out to the west. Thursday, that uh, surface low is deep north of Kansas City. Showers and thunderstorms coming in here. And this is a week from today, Friday the 19th. Very deep trough to the west. And again, storms exiting the state. So at some point out there toward the end of next week, maybe Thursday, Thursday night, maybe even Friday morning, there could be another risk of strong to severe storms. But it's simply too early to call at this point. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 21st, troughing to the east. And that looks dry and pleasant. Temperatures coming off the GFS Ensemble. We cool down early next week. We'll be well down in the 40s Monday and Tuesday morning. And after that, for a while, highs mostly in the 70s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just to click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.